Tension is building in Talis Alenia space in Rome, where the first four satellites of the operational stage of Europe's satellite navigation system, Galileo, are going through their final testing before being launched later this year and next year. The end goal is a full system in space and on the ground that will provide Europe with the most advanced global navigation network in the world. But building Galileo is a step-by-step -step process. Two satellites, Jove A and B, were launched in 2005 and 2008. They secured the signal frequencies allocated to the Galileo system and provided the platform to check new onboard technologies such as the atomic clocks. The program is now moving to Jove, which stands for the in-orbit validation phase. It's based on this mini constellation of four satellites. The minimum number that can fully deliver all the operational functions of the Galileo system, along with a number of ground stations. This stage will validate the design of the Galileo system. It's a key moment for Europe because we are moving from a, an experimental phase with the Jove A and Jove B satellite to an operational phase with the IOV satellites. These satellites are really operational satellites that will be able to perform the operational task of a Galileo, I mean receiving um, a signal from the ground segment and retransmitting in an end-to-end approach that really provide um, a real navigation signal for users. All the components of the satellites have been checked during development, but it's only here in Rome that they're put together and subjected to a rigorous testing schedule. The thermal vacuum testing chamber in Rome simulates the most extreme temperatures and conditions that a satellite is likely to meet in space. These satellites have a, an operational lifetime, a design operational lifetime of 12 years. So we can't afford for them to fail. They have to be designed to be very reliable. So that means we have to do a lot of testing. This in-orbit validation phase has been jointly funded by the European Space Agency and the European Commission, which will be in charge of the full deployment of the system with a final constellation of 30 satellites and the associated worldwide ground segment. Galileo will be the first fully civilian positioning system. It will ensure Europe's independence in the new and promising domain of satellite navigation dominated so far by US GPS and the Russian GLONASS, both under military control. Furthermore, Galileo will also be interoperable with GPS and GLONASS. The in-orbit validation stage is the culmination of nine years of work and is an important moment for ESA and its partners to put into operation some of the new technology that's been especially developed for these satellites. We're testing new technologies in particular, for example, on these satellites we have the most advanced atomic clocks in the world. Uh, the Mazers are an order of magnitude uh, more accurate and stable than any other atomic clocks in the world. Um, that means these satellites are, are capable of, of transmitting a navigation signal that will give uh, uh, navigation accuracy and performance an order of magnitude better than anything that, uh, that is in operation so far today. The first two of these four operational Galileo satellites will be the first mission to be launched by the Russian Soyuz rocket from its new launch site in French Guiana. Until now, Soyuz has always launched from launch sites in Kazakhstan and Russia. So Galileo, a symbol of European cooperation, will travel into space aboard another great symbol of international cooperation.